Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BJ and Co. Infinite Factory video. It's Friday. Friday. So looking forward to the weekend. So looking forward to the long weekend. I hope you are too. And first things first, as we're playing Infinite Factory, as always we do on Friday, guys, we got to take a look and see. Did he beat us? Damn it, yo, man. I figured, I figured this would happen. Um, I do, I sneak something out, I do well, and then it goes sideways and gets kicked off and all that fun jazz because people see how I do it and then optimize on it. And it looks like you did pretty good there. So nice job, yo, man. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this series, let us know down in the comments below and uh, sub to the channel for updates when everything goes live. But today, I think we want to take a look at docking clamps. Leave, leave a few more things in behind to make everybody cringe. Eventually, we'll get around to all of this. So what, what do the docking clamps do? Docking clamps, intriguing, so I'm assuming we're cutting this out of, ooh, a single slab only. Okay, is there anything else that I'm getting? So, this structure is what? We're sitting at five high total, and I feel like I'm going to need three, so it's a five by five. So we are five by five, and then we need to do some fun little jigging, but I think we can have some fun here. So, I mean, if this guy comes out, two, three, four, five, okay. So I'm tempted, okay, I, I'm, I'm tempted to have some fun. So if, initially we are going to need some sort of laser set up here and this is going to need to be all connected uh actually i might connect this along there just to give me some safe side because i'm not i'm not trying to go too funky so then one two three four five and then we're going to need another set of lasers right here right no no no. i need one more i need one more because each piece so really what i'm what i'm trying to do here guys is cut into five or three three slips of five of which are one of them is going to be our center uh, and then the other two are going to be our two sides because we can, I mean, if you take a look at these, the base that's a single can be um, taken off of the very top of this if we chop it off properly. So we should be able to do that. And then, so we're going to need three, five, and then another one and some more lasers. Five, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, one more, and lasers. So I just, we're, we're gonna take a look and just make sure that we're doing things properly. But I think this is, it ain't gonna be pretty, but it should do the work. Because when this pushes out, we should get three sections. Oh. <laughs> what I want to have here is a can we do a vertical sensor we can do a vertical sensor right so as soon as this hits there that fires off and that gets us three three of those sections where we want them so now when this drops when this fires off what I want to do is we want to pull this guy one over and then move it forward. That's that's what we're we're gonna aim for here. And I think I'm gonna be well. We'll we'll see. We'll just see what space we have here. So then one of these other sections is going to have to go out even further. So we're just gonna. I mean, let's just let's just play around, see what we get. And then I actually want to go on this side, and we're just gonna bring this up and across now because we need this to pop out to the other side of things and then run its way along, right? So we should, this should, if, I, if I'm if i guessing correctly, this should pop everything out and along. Now, as long as everything's slow enough, we don't have to worry about anything else happening. So, 
we could do a chunking out of things at the exact same time, which is a possibility, which would be, so I mean the, the middle chunk, the middle chunk is our very last one. And that middle chunk, what we need to do on it is we're gonna need a couple of lasers, I think, right here, whoa, and right here. All right, that's gonna give us our up. And then this whole row needs to be fine, but then what we need is, that's on the outside, and then we need to cut some stuff in the middle here. And I'm not, I'm really not optimizing for anything right now, um, which is not ideal, but whatever. Well, so I think we need, oh, I'm a little too far forward, aren't I? Ah, oops, oops. Oops, I'm breaking everything, guys. This is not allowed, not allowed. So we need one, two, three, and then I want to say four, five. Do I have to get... No, I got to go one more down here. And then these, we're going to do these all lasers. Now, I'm... I'm. It would probably make more sense... Well, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'm going to kind of theory craft as things go through here. Um... But we're using a lot of laser to cut everything, every piece of that. And it would probably make more sense in the general scheme of things, especially for some of, like, this row across here, to use a laser from the top. Um, or, like, laser all three of them at the same time. But that's, that's, that's minimal. So... The fun piece with these next ones is as much as we're cutting across, I also want to do a cut vertically, but I can also do the cut vertically with some eviscerators. Can I can I do it with eviscerators nicely? I don't think so. Um so I'm not even going to be able to put a laser in the side spot where I would like to. But we could do this as, so as it comes around here, I could have an eviscerator, because really I have, to, I have to chunk the top off of this, right? So if this comes through and chops properly, what then I need to do is, once this gets to the other side, which should be about here then I can bring this along separately but that should be close enough that it'll catch on it and not die to the eviscerator which is good that's exactly what we want there and then we're gonna have the other side here which again I need to be a little careful of because of these lasers though I might be able to stop the lasers from doing anything any bad harm uh, whoa! But ideally, what we want is we want the eviscerator... We want the eviscerator sitting right here. And then, just down a ways from this, we want to have this going this direction as well, right? And this should now... Okay, good. The lasers don't break any of the blocks that we've got going on here. So... What we want to do, I think I want to bring all of this stuff forward at least one. Uh, this guy's going to need to go there, right? Uh, is this going to pull it at the right place, though? I may have to... Um, so then this is going to be one, two, three, four, five... So this is, I mean, really, this is, we want this to drop in the right place. This guy right here, kind of the same sort of thing. We'll see how it pushes and make sure it gets to the right place. That middle one, uh, actually, this needs to go back one. This needs to go back one. This guy needs to go one that direction. And then drop here. And then this top one, again, needs to come this direction 
actually that direction and drop and then this guy should be fine just straight in the middle let's let's just look at how this drops first and figure out what we need to do because this is going to go sideways forwards okay that's going to drop fine that one's going to drop fine so this sideways needs to be uh does this need to be the sideways one let's we'll see we'll see where this gets us so that guy's where it needs to be that guy's where it needs to be that guy's one short okay so so this needs to be one more and then of course this guy needs to be to here here right and then one more there and then which other one is not going in the same place to make sure things are nice okay so that one has to go one further so we need one guy there oh actually okay i mean it really i could get rid of a few blocks by doing this but it really doesn't matter so so this is fine let's make sure are we are we landing everything where it needs to be Um, not quite. So I need one more here, and then I need. Well, I mean, where's this other one coming? This other end one. Uh, no, one more. So this should put everything where I want it. And then, so my welders are going to have to be at the back. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, the other piece I need to do here is what? Okay, so it's all dropping. It's all dropping to the right place right now. So, I mean, really, in the general scheme of things, we've got this. And back here, what we're going to need is a set of five welders. And these welders should be able to do the work that we need. Because this should then weld everything into the right place. And then the two, three. So I want my pull forward to be this guy. And this is going to just be boom right there. So this is going to pull it in where I need it to be. And now what I need is let's just make sure this does pull everything forward so now i just have six blocks on either side that need to be dealt with and this one what do we have for options for it to be pulled through i'm going to need something suspended from the top except the eviscerators are not going to push through nicely uh da -da 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 -da, and that's not going to push through either but i could I could possibly use my fantastic fun. Ooh, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? I could put this eviscerator in a different place. Because really, really what I need is, oh, but that's, it's gonna get stuck. That's gonna get stuck if I do this the way I'm thinking. Um, okay, maybe let's try the other side. Let's try the other side. So once it cuts through this, there's just ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. though I could get it to do when it senses something. Whatever am I going to do? Actually, that's what I can do. Lasers have a nice uh, a nice range on them. So if I just go out till I'm at least one out from behind here. So I need to go one more. And now I go down. So this is the one that's 
man, my aim just sucks. So that's the one that's getting eviscerated off. So really, I have six here that I need. And these lasers should be able to do the exact same work as the previous ones. And just cut out that hole. And then here we can do kind of the exact same thing. Because our distances are the same. And in here it just needs to be these three and these three. And we get another lasers. And God, I don't even want to look at my block score on this. But those should cut at the same time. God, that's a lot of fucking lasers. But there's our sides. Everything's coming down and around. And I think, I think we've made our docking clamps, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. 266 blocks. <laughs> Don't cringe too hard at my uh, collaboration, guys. This is... Um or concoction, I should call it concoction because Jesus Murphy, I butchered this one. I mean, I don't hate my cycle scores. Um, I don't think I can really ramp this up. Let's let's see where we sit right off the bat. Um, I'm not a huge fan of everything. I mean, footprint, we beat Amazit, which is kind of nice. And it's, I mean, keeping it vertically like this definitely helps a lot. But Yeoman's almost got us by, well, a little more than 100 there. Cycle score, yeah, it's pretty ugly. We kind of figured that one would be. And the block score, yes, very ugly. I mean, I'm using way, way too many of these uh, lasers to get the work done. Like, this is not... This is not how I should be doing it. I mean, we'll we'll do I think we'll do a little bit of theory crafting here as we take a look at things. Like I want to what how fast can my Okay, so there's only two rates of output. And I don't think this rate of output really will change too much. I mean, we'll we'll see if Oh, that might change things. Um but really, like, I, the, the use of the things like this eviscerator are smart, right? Like, we're killing five blocks with one block. But some of my some of my big issues with this that need to improve a little bit. Oh, 245. Okay, I don't I don't hate that then. Like, it's it's we're we're kind of right at the bottom end of this number, which is great. So uh, where where we're sitting at as a whole, I don't hate besides the block score because my block score is just garbage right now. Um, but what are things we can do to remove this block score? So, I mean, technically in here, we have one, two, three. Do I even need this last one? God. So, I mean, literally all of this is useless. What, what, what this should be is this guy should be back here this guy should be here and none of this should be needed right like that that right there should still do us the same thing except for the fact that it doesn't Ooh, what what's screwed up there fucking disconnected it oops it's like this this should be working i didn't change too much there we go right so like that that automatically right there removes us with five lasers and five um of the the power cables right which is fantastic right that that goes already a decent distance but we have I mean, I still have two other sets of pillars here of lasers that are doing the same work. Now, moving them along in different ways then may not... Um, we'd be looking at rotating things in... Or not rotating, but having conditions forcing things in different directions, which can be a little bit challenging sometimes. Um, but the... Really, all I need is this, this set of lasers right this first set of lasers at five and when this uh gets out to its sixth place a la it goes off the laser shoots it and it's done right so there should be there should be nothing i need to worry about there to make this any better like it's it's gonna happen no matter what i mean we've we've dropped our block score what by 10 woo, woo, big whoop um 
but yeah so like this this should be the only necessary cut that we need here uh no matter what we are going to need the the wires to set this up and everything um i don't know if there's a way that i could set up a timer that'd be interesting but i don't think i could with pistons and stuff and still take up probably more blocks than just running out six and having a sensor right over top and at that case we probably just need yeah six and then so five five wires and a sensor um i would go yeah i mean so we're probably gonna need six wires and a sensor i'm trying to think if there's a way i can combine this in such a way actually i probably could i could go um i could go the wires straight out from here right ah right straight along beside it put a sensor at the end and then put the rest of the wires down here so we've got five up four across sensor on the the far end of it all and then that's cutting that'll be cutting it into the stunk chunks of five that we need at the same time we can easily probably set up two lasers specifically there and there right because that's on every single one of these that's an open gap and that's an open gap um same with these three here uh, they have to be cut off on every single one. The I still like the idea of using these these single ones as a top. So, like, really, this one, if we did set this up in such a way where we've got our... Um, well, if we need lasers in certain spots, the... What did I say? The two... I need the two at the bottom. And then this row here. So, really... If I did like five out there, so then our sensor needs to see when it hits the end here. And then we would be putting our two other lasers here and here. And then along the top, right, those three can be killed off on everything. Then we've kind of got our start template of each one. Ooh, that's, that's looking ugly as sin right now. Um, what I want to kind of do, well, let's disconnect all of that and let's disconnect, but let's, okay, let's, let's, we're, we're, we're actually doing some work here. I mean, let's, let's get a little bit, where am I sitting at? 22, uh-oh, 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 okay, we're going to, we're going to finish this thought and then uh, move on because I do need to get this rendered note for you tomorrow. Um, but this should now... And it's going to push it, but now, so this is, each single chunk we have is like this, which is, is fine. Like, we're we're now in the process where we just have to get rid of three there, uh, or five to get the middle one, and two and four to get the two side ones. Oh, that's cool that it's just shooting every single one. But in this instance, right, as soon as as soon as this comes off, now I need to be getting them off and sorting them in order right and getting them off and out of the way in such a way i mean block score also sucks because of the fact that we've got the um we need things to push out of the way but really really this isn't actually necessary here right like we can just be working on that right and now we've got our pieces and now it's a it's a matter of pushing them to where they need to be to get the remainder because i mean really two of these can be handled exactly the same and the rest of them need to then have a bit more action taken on them to make things and put them together and everything but i think i do think we've got lots of room that we could work on our block score here we're, we're slowly creeping it down and a lot of this i mean really that in itself that we've just done has obsoleted most of the other lasers that we've done so really we're using the lasers for the things that are guaranteed and then we'll probably use eviscerators like i mean one eviscerator should be able to handle all of this for sure um here i would probably use four eviscerators too and have it running through once the split happens just push it straight through the eviscerators but we'll 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 have to play around with that i think a little bit later on i've got i've got some ideas but we're gonna we're gonna leave it there for you guys so thank you for watching we appreciate you guys all being here it's great to have an audience to interact with i love you guys pointing out the things i do well do wrong um and it's always neat to see how people go about thinking this because there's so many ways to tackle the same problem right you can use a laser you can use a eviscerator but what works best in what situation what are we going for so i, 
I, I love the way this game makes me think. Um, so yeah, love to see your comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this, hit that like button to let us know. If you want to see more, sub to the channel for updates when all the new content goes live. And don't forget, you can hit that bell notification to get completely notified when everything comes through. And uh, join the community, guys. Links are down in the description down below. We've got Discord. we got Twitter. we got Facebook. we got a website. we got Patreon. All that fun stuff. We love all you guys that are here. Big shout out to our patrons who are coming up at the end credits. And uh, we'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.